friends. Welcome to Redgate Ranch Homestead. I'm having my coffee this morning and just trying to decide what I want for breakfast. I want an old fashioned buttermilk hoe cake with a little sausage gravy on the side. So this is something that I learned to make with my mother. She used to make old fashioned buttermilk hoe cakes to go with soups and stews and sometimes for breakfast. And it is a tender dough. It is the best biscuit you will ever have. And that's really what a hoe cake is. It's just a giant biscuit. If you've ever had trouble making biscuits, this is your solution. And I wanna show you how to make this. So come along with me this morning, get your cup of coffee and we'll make it together. Okay, friends, get your aprons on and let's make some breakfast. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to follow a normal biscuit recipe and that's two cups of plain flour. We're going to put that in our sifter. Okay, and to that we're going to add one tablespoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of baking soda. This is going to help it stay very tender inside. Now we're going to sift all of that together. I'm going to put a little well in the flour. Then I'm going to use one third cup of shortening. A lot of people use pastry cutters. You can use a, a fork to do this. I've always used two butter knives just to cut the shortening in. And you want to cut that in until it's about the size of peas or smaller. Now the next thing you do is you add buttermilk. And buttermilk really is the star ingredient in this. If you don't have buttermilk, you can use just regular plain milk. But the buttermilk is really special because it reacts with the baking powder and with the baking soda, and that gives it lift. We're going to put it in a really hot oven so that it rises quickly, and then it's hot that'll add that crunchy crust to the bottom. But this is a little extra wet. I'm adding one and a half cups of buttermilk. So this is like a cake. It's very moist, so it's a little extra milk than you'd put in biscuits, but this works really well. So let me show you what we do. You see the dough is really wet, but that's exactly what we want. Next, we're going to put it into the iron skillet. I put about two tablespoons of vegetable oil in here. Use your favorite, that'll be fine. But I'm using vegetable oil today. This is my grandmother's iron skillet that was passed down to my mother that's now been passed down to me. If you don't have an iron skillet, I beg you, go buy one. There heirlooms and you can pass it on to someone else in your family that loves to bake. I just love knowing that this has been in my mother's kitchen and my grandmother's kitchen. We're going to put this dough. We don't have to roll it out. We don't have to cut it. We just have to put it in the pan. See, it's a raggedy dough, but that's okay. You just wait until it comes out of the stove. You're going to be so glad you did this. We're going to bake it at 450 degrees. I'm going to check it after 20 minutes. I may let it go another five minutes. Just depends on how brown it is on top. Well, it's been 23 minutes, and I think our whole cake is ready to take out of the oven. Now 
now that our sausage is brown, we're going to use a slotted spoon and put that into our into our bowl. And this was my grandmother's corning ware that's been passed down just like the iron skillet. It's a nod to my grandmother. We're going to turn the eye on and we need about two tablespoons of oil here. If you don't have enough, Please feel free to add some vegetable oil or something like that. I think we're going to need just a little bit more. Okay. We're going to let that get hot. Okay, now that the oil is hot, we're going to add two tablespoons of plain flour. And we're going to let this brown lightly for just a couple of minutes. Now that the flour is lightly toasted, we're going to add a half a teaspoon of salt. And now we're going to add our milk. I have two cups of regular milk here. Be sure to stir this vigorously. Make sure you get out all the lumps. Be patient, keep stirring, and it will turn into a lovely silky gravy. Now you want to just bring this up to a simmer, and as it warms up, as it comes to a boil, it will thicken up. When it starts to bubble, you want to add one teaspoon of black pepper. And now we're going to pour this over our sausage. And there you have it. Sausage and sawmill gravy. Okay, it's ready to try this. Just look at that. That lift, it's so fluffy and the crust is crunchy on top. Oh, everything you'd want in a biscuit. And now we're just going to Pour some lovely gravy on top of it. Well, I can't wait to dig into this. A lot of people make hoe cake a little bit differently, but this is how I grew up in the South, having hoe cake. Uh, some people make little pancake things, um, but I'm sure that they're good too. But this is just my mom's recipe, and this is how we grew up eating hoe cake. I miss my mom, and it's like having breakfast with her when I make her recipes. And think back on all the childhood memories I had sitting at her table enjoying these delicious meals. So let's dig in and try a bite. Mm. The bread is so fluffy and light. And it's got that buttermilk tang to it. It's good. The crust is crunchy, 
the gravy is so velvety and the sausage is always good that is a good breakfast i hope to see y'all in the next video i'm gonna finish my breakfast <laughs>